Hello everyone! My original voicing broke again because OBS does not know how to exist. So I am going to be voicing over again, but I did write all of my first thoughts on a piece of paper, so everything I say is still basically the same. So first of all, I think the UI is probably one of the best things I've ever seen. It is pretty fresh and it's got everything where it needs to be. As we can see on there, everything is just sorted quite well. And I don't have too many problems with it. We can also see that there are a variety of Blazon and Ghost modules, including a HUD, which is pretty nice to see, considering that this is an external ghost client. The visuals on the root display, number one, don't look like they're working. Uh, not sure what that's doing, but it does look quite nice. I'm pretty sure you can drag them around as well. The CPS, has I have no problems with the CPS. It also has an inner inventory and check for if you're holding, if you're in the first item slot, which I think is quite nice. I definitely think that it's pretty good and I don't think there's any more to say on the auto clicker. It has very low uh, performance impact because it's memory. Uh, it's a fully memory based sheet and it's external so if you're in screen shares I think this will bypass screen shares but I don't go sheet often. Alright as we can see the, in the ghost tab there is an auto clicker aim assist velocity reach and w tap. During my testing I think the w tap works fine the auto clicker works flawlessly. Velocity I wasn't going to try because I'm pretty sure Hypixel added um, velocity checks? I'm not sure though, since I saw some mi uh, mixed information. Reach, I think, worked quite well, but since I'm on Labby mod and the Reach cap is checked, I wasn't too sure if it was working properly. On the fast place and quick stop uh, and scaffold, the scaffold worked quite well as long as you click properly, which I'm not used to, so I was never able to use the scaffold properly. That is a me issue though. Uh, while we're here, we can see the ESP module, which is def which looks quite nice. You can't change the color though, which I would like to be changed, or if there is a setting for it. It also doesn't have anti-bot, so you will see name tags and weird rotation issues. The fast place is working fine, but there is a glitch sometimes where it can stay hold down even though you are not holding down your right click, and this will also affect your sword. Okay, what are those guys doing? <laughs> As you can see, the fast place is bugging out with the fishing rod. But, oh well. There's not much you can do about that externally, so... On the blatant, I was not... I didn't try any of the blatant features, but I'm assuming that they all work normally. I will check this again later. I'll probably put in like a pink comment or something. Alright, here's the fast place if I can pick up Snowball. Alright, here we can see the fast place. I think I tried using the scaffold here. I'm not sure since OBS was again having seizures. Ignore the screen tearing as well. Unless that's me issue, but... Here we can see, I think the reach is working. And here the aim assist I had quite a few issues with, as it wasn't really aim assisting to the people that I was targeting. So I think that's definitely an improvement point for the ghost client. As you can see, uh, there's also a self-destruct button, which is quite nice if you are in a screen share and you need to get out of the client quickly. In addition, there is a variety of utility mods, which, which, inclu which includes um, auto stop and scaffold and fast place. In my testing, I didn't actually try the quick stop, so I'm not too sure what that does. From the name, I think it's just a ground strafe, but I really can't tell. 
since as I've never used it, and no one else uses it. And very low, low amount of people have this client. And I think I'm the first person to make a video on it, except Flash, of course. Oh, yep, there's the fast page. There's fast place uh, in action. Working fine. Is this guy auto blocking? He looks like he is. Good kill, though. Uh, and then, uh, fu fun trick you can do you can just shoot yourself with a bow, and then if you're flacking, it will reset most of it. It's just a reset VL, basically. Except it works and is way more consistent. How did I win that? Power of pulse of light, baby. In the render modules, you can also see that there's also name tags. The name tags module seemed to work fine, if I remember correctly. And also in the reach, it may it will take 30 seconds for you to use it. For it to inject properly, as unlike most clients, it own it only injects the things that you need, like when they need it. So I think that's a good for performance or something. I don't know. I don't make clients. Uh, I'm pretty sure none of these bypass, but the kill aura might, as long as you rotate manually. So you can see me uh, testing the scaffold here. It seems to work fine, but I did uh, previously I did have some experience with it. Me. With it throwing me off of the map like there. So if you buy this client, I don't recommend using it scaffold. I just don't trust it personally, but you guys can if you want. Overall, I think that there's definitely a ton of improvement points, but considering this is still beta, it has a lot it has a lot of ways it can improve and become an amazing injectable client. And possibly it also injects into most 1.8 clients. Uh, thank you for watching. I will, I will reconfigure OBS so I never have to do this again. Hopefully, so th uh, thank you everyone for watching. And if you want to buy Pulse of Light, it will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Join my Discord and subscribe.